Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to install llama.cpp on Windows, so let's just go right into it. Open your browser, then go to this link here. I'll have it in the description down below. This will take you to the official Llama CPP GitHub releases page where you can download your preferred binary, your Windows executable. So in my case, I'm using an NVIDIA GPU, and that's going to be using CUDA. So I'm going to go over here, expand this, and I'm going to download for the version of my CUDA, which in my case is this. And I'm going to save it to my downloads folder. Now I'll just wait for it to download. Another thing that you have to download is this. QDART, save it to your downloads folder and wait for it to download. Now, for example, you're using an Intel CPU, you don't have an NVIDIA GPU on your computer or your laptop, then you should go ahead and figure out which version of AVX your, uh, your Intel CPU supports, and I recommend downloading either AVX2 or AVX512, depending on what your Intel CPU supports, and also the same kind of thing applies if you have an AMD um, CPU or GPU, you have to figure out which one of these you want to download. You have the extracted file here, we're just going to want to cut, and then we're going to go over to this PC, Program Files, and just paste this here. I maybe rename this file. You don't have to put this in program files. You can put it in a different folder if you want entirely. Uh, I like to just put it in here uh, because what we're going to do next is we're going to go here and we're going to copy this directory. And then we're going to go and search path in here. And then we're going to go to the environment variable section. And we're going to add this to path. So that it knows where to go and access all of these CLI files so that it can execute the llama CLI. So hit OK on all of these, and you may need administrator permission to do all of that, so make sure that you are the administrator of whatever computer you're using to do this. So now that you've downloaded that, make sure to extract that file. And you have a bunch of these DLL files here that you'll see. What you want to do here is you want to just basically cut all of these or copy them. And then go back to the folder that you were in before. And paste. And once you've done that, I would recommend reopening the browser. And then I have another link here. This will lead you to the download page for Tiny Llama, which is a local um, AI model that's pretty lightweight and relatively easy to run uh, if you have a graphics card that does not have a lot of VRAM. Uh, so, for example, you can see how much what the RAM requirements are for each quantized uh, version of this model. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and download this one. Uh, which is large, very low quality loss, recommended. So I'm just going to go ahead and download. So now find the folder where you saved the GGUF file that you downloaded earlier. In my case, I put it in my documents folder. Then go to the search bar, open up CMD. And now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to first go to CD and then change into whatever the uh, directory that you saved it is. And one way to do this is to just go up here, copy this, 
and then just do control V and CD means change directory so hit enter and now you should be in this directory and now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to run llama dash CLI minus M and then whatever you have named this GGUF file over here I'm just going to rename this because this is really kind of long so I'm just going to name it tiny llama dot GGUF and there you go now as you see llama.cpp is running and i can ask it a question for example how many r's are in the word strawberry so as you can see <laughs> this model is not the best one you can choose a different model obviously uh, if you want this is just an example model that demonstrates how this works and yeah, that's basically it. So that's how to install llama.cpp on Windows and uh, how to run it on Windows. Again, you can try a different model. You don't have to use this model. You just have to download a different GGUF file. Uh, another thing that you can do is you, you don't have to install it uh, specifically for NVIDIA GPUs. Uh, most of these steps here, like the extra CUDA step that uh, I had over here where you had to copy the DLLs, that was intended for um, NVIDIA GPUs, and it's not going to work unless you have those DLL files in that folder uh, that you added to your path directory earlier. So that's it, basically, and I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you learned something, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, leave a like, and please subscribe, and that's it, thanks.